Thanks for talking to us this morning. How do you how do you count these sharks, by the way? You're not so out there in the water. Air, sure. <laughs> I've been doing an aerial survey, actually, flying from Miami along the coast up to Jupiter and uh, with high definition cameras mounted out the window. And that enables me to video record and go back and count the huge numbers of sharks that are immediately adjacent to the beach. So what is different about the sharks migration pattern this year? Well, this year it's been unusually warm. And as a result, we haven't had uh, the big numbers of sharks coming down here and spending the winter uh, in South Florida. They've actually stopped uh, further up the coast, uh, Sebastian area or, or Vero Beach. And so I think it has to do or it indicates that the, air, the migration is very tightly tied to uh, temperature. All right. So should swimmers be concerned about mm -hmm. this? Well, you've got huge numbers of sharks in the water. At the same time, you have a bunch of people visiting Florida and spring breakers down here. So you have the potential for a lot of uh, encounters between sharks and humans. I think the best thing to do is just be vigilant, be aware. Uh, don't do silly things like swim when there's people fishing nearby. You know, swim when the conditions are clear and the sharks can tell that you're a person and not a little bait fish. Are all sharks aggressive? Are some nicer than others? I feel like they have a better rap. It's <laughs> in general, they have a bad rap. And these black tip sharks that are uh, taking part in this migration are a really skittish species. So when you try and get in the water with them, they're likely to bolt away. They're not uh, particularly curious, let's say. Yeah, unless you're, you know, poking at them. Right. You know, then I, I, they might get a little upset. You know, there's a lot of fishing that goes on, obviously, off the Florida coast. Uh, is, there, is there more chumming, potentially, resulting in, in more fish coming in and say, hey, this is a free meal. I don't even have to work for this. It just comes off the boat. Right, exactly. So that's what happens. You have uh, people fishing, uh, a lot of chum in the water. That brings the little fish in. That brings the, the big uh, fish yep. in. And uh, it's those sort of conditions that swimmers want to avoid.